to show you what tracing means on the Adobe Illustrator. Well, first, you already know how to get on a new page. You click on create new. So let's just click on it. Click on it again if it's not going to show loading. Now let's click on create. So here we just have a blank page, don't we? Well, now we're going to fix that. Let's go to Google Chrome. And let's type dribble. D R F Oh, now we already have dribble down here. So let's click on this one. So now let's just full screen it. Wait for everything to load. And let's see which ones I'm gonna find. Hmm, I really like this peacock. Maybe I'll save it into mine. It'd be hard to do. My name is Abiha, by the way. Hmm. Maybe this one. Yeah, let's save this one. And now, what we can do is, let's go down up here, save. Why? But for now, let's just do this big peacock. So let's click on Windows Shift. S. and now it's showing the screen is all black now you can take a picture there we've taken a picture let's go back to illustrator and let's click on control v and there's our photo shot So now what you can do is let's go to layers, let's look layer 1, let's take another layer. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to simply start tracing it with our stroke to black. Okay, now stroke needs to be black, fill needs to be nothing. Don't worry about this. As long as you're learning from the from the ex from the master, it'll be alright. So let's start over here with our curvature tool. You could use anything basically, but I like using curvature tool because it comes out more nicely.
crafted. Now, this is something really cool I want all of you guys to see. So let's uh, first go on to this tool. If you already know what this tool does, then you can just then you can just forward this tool. To those of you who don't know this tool, I'm going to teach you it right now. So, it means that when you have the minus, it means you can delete things. When you have the plus, it means you can add things. But, let's minus things. Oh wait, I completely forgot. We only need to destroy these bits. So, now I'm going to show you the coolest bit. Now you can unpause. Now you can unfast forward with. Unfast forward there. So let's go to properties. And what we're going to do is we are going to go onto our eyedropper tool. And let's click and let's select this color. Fill. New swatch. Okay, now we've added a new swatch. So now that we have all of our colors, let's go into selection tool, select everything, and let's go into shape builder, and let's select our first color. Let's see, the first color we have is this one. Let's color it in here. Don't worry everyone, the video is almost done. So now, here comes the fun part. We're going to put the stroke to nothing. You might not be able to see this, but let me show you a fun way so let's click on our rectangle let's click on the fill our fill is going to be um a fire drill sorry that was just a poem it's okay let me just select our dark pink and let's click on and let's just try to fit it in there and our fill has to be pink. Well, you can choose whatever color you want. I'm just going to choose this color because I like it. Arrange, center back. Okay, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys, I hope you guys liked it. And check you later.